Kavar. Let me show you something else. Pull back out again, uh, Pat, please. Look at the triangles. He constructed this painting in triangles. So check it out. Triangle. You see everybody see that? Triangle. 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 Look at right in here. Triangle. Uh, look at in this area. Triangle. Once again, look at the legs. Triangle. Uh, right here as well. Look at even the, the, the uh, crossbar of the piano. So he's building up all these beautiful triangles to create this geometric, almost cubist approach. Now think about the fact that he's got direct light. The light is precise. It's coming in right about here where my hand is. If you can see where my hand is, right about there, the light is coming in right from that, that angle, and it goes through the entire composition with perfect integrity. There's no variation of the lighting. Then you look at the reflected light, which is coming off the lacquer of the piano. You look at the shadows, which are perfectly rendered. Look at the shadows, right? The light hitting the cork all the way around the back of, of the cork. And then there. you look at the fact that he's got a perfect sense of space. The volumetric feeling of the cork, it really feels like it's round uh, volume, uh, the volume, the strawberry, the same thing of the strawberry. And look at the way he's pushing the piano back in space. That's called foreshorting. It's the strongest degree of manipulation of space. Very hard to do. That really requires a tremendous amount of skill to foreshorten like that. That distance, the whole piano keyboard is foreshortened in just that little space. Just amazing. I just noticed, by the way, this reflection here of the keys on the lacquer of the piano. You see this, Cole? <laughs> yeah. You should get a tight shot of that. That's pretty amazing. Look at that. See the reflection of the keys? That's just crazy, isn't it? And then the white, you know, in this area. Now, look at how he's describing textures. Look at the texture of the cork. That's crazy. <coughs> That's amazing. I mean, you feel like you could reach in and touch that cork. That is absolutely extraordinary. I like how he has the top of the cork the wine color, because mm -hmm. it was in the wine mm -hmm. bottle. It's got that pink, pink color, just yep. like an actual cork that comes out. And the fingers, the gestures of the fingers are getting a triangle right here. <laughs> and the perfect gesture of a pianist. And, um, and you look at, the, again, the, the texture of the strawberry, the texture of the, of the glass, shine of the glass, etc. And finally, pull back out, if you would, again, Pat. <laughs> Excuse me, tired voice from speaking all day today and last night. Look at the aura of light right here. This whole range of light. And what Michael Goddard does is he paints the entire canvas black. And he has to put down layer, layer, and layer of black because he's got to get rid of the tooth of the canvas. Then, here's the tricky part. This entire part of the painting will be painted white. And he has to do layer upon layer upon layer of the white to, again, get rid of the black. And then he starts to paint. Once he, he goes back to the white, that's the beginning of the painting. Then he, he puts in all the colors. So can you imagine how much time mm -hmm. he had to put into this painting? I mean, it's just extraordinary. Well, and that's the commitment.